We've got the power once again in the much anticipated part two of Masters of the Universe Revelation. The struggle for Grey Skull's power has never been more dire as old and new characters fight to save Eternia. So I was very much anticipating this because I loved part one, especially that cliffhanger that it left us on. However, part two just didn't have that magic that part one did, like no pun intended. Sure, this is action packed and the animation is even more beautiful and engaging than part one. And there's far more character depth and backstory that expands the world and lore, which absolutely enriches everything and brings up some interesting surprises. But some of the magic power, I guess how the mechanics of this world and Castle Grayskull worked were muddled. Like, this character can do this, but why didn't they do that before? It was kind of all over the place, let's keep it consistent. Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 2 is a grandiose finish spectacle, but does lose a bit of that Saturday morning cartoon magic. I'm going to give it 3.5 out of 5 magical swords.